Hello again, it's Mr. Pete with more lessons from my Montessori Geometry album. Previous to today, we looked at the study of lines, and I presented a number of lessons with the study of lines. Now we're moving on to the study of angles. Today we're going to look at the parts of an angle. So what I've got on my stick board right now that you can see, it might look familiar, I hope it looks familiar. I've taken two sticks from the stick box and used red tacks and arrowheads to create two rays. If you remember, or if you don't, I'll tell you anyways, a ray is a part of a line. It has an origin and it goes forever in one direction. So a ray goes forever in one direction, it extends to infinity, but it has an origin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these two rays and form an angle. How do we do that? I'm going to make a common origin here and I'm just going to keep my arrows here. So now what I've got is an angle. Two rays that have a common origin. In other words, they start from the same spot. Two rays that have a common origin form a figure called an angle. And an angle has some parts. This and this are called the sides. These are the sides of the angle. Where the angle begins, where the two origins begin, is now called the vertex. The vertex is the origin of the angle. It's the point where the two sides meet. And in the middle here is what we call the size of our angle. This is something that can be measured, and we'll do that a little bit later, but this is our size. So, quick review, two rays that have a common origin form an angle. An angle has parts. An angle will have two sides. It will have a vertex, which is the point where the two sides meet. And it will have a size. Coming up next, we're going to look at the different types of angles. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.